All right, so here's a very quick rundown on uh, my current project and attempt of growing uh, mushrooms from spores. Uh, focus on the jars. This is the PF Tech method. There's a lot of variation in this method. People do different parts of it differently, um, but what you're seeing here is very, very standard. Um, only one part of this process is probably not terribly standard, but again, not unique to me. I didn't come up with anything. This is all researched and I'm just copying people's uh, success. So PF Tech typically refers to jars. Uh, this is wild bird seed in the jars. That's the medium I decided to go with for this. Other people can use rye grains, etc., etc. That's what I went with. Uh, so first you buy these jars. I went with half pine jars. I put a hole in the top. Uh, that hole acts as an injection port um, and uh, uh, breathing hole. Um, the tape is there to allow breathing to take place. And by breathing, I mean oxygen goes in, carbon dioxide goes out. But while that's happening, this will stop contaminants from getting into that hole. Um, this whole process is largely centered around stopping contamination, um, which is the number one killer of uh, spores colonizing for uh, fungi. So, yeah, so uh, this wild bird seed was. Uh, cleaned. Um, bad seeds, not uh, helpful to this process, were removed, sorted out. Um, after that was done, these uh, seeds underwent a pretty long hydration process, so they are packed with moisture, and then the outsides of them were dried. So the outside of the seeds are dry, the inside is packed with moisture. That way they can stay in these jars for weeks, and this never has to be opened for moisture to be provided for the process. They're good to go. So um, this hole was uh, put into the lid. The seeds, after all of that, were put into the jar. Um, these were put in a pressure cooker uh, and run. The reason for that is to sterilize the jar and its contents. Again, contamination is the major concern here. Um, and then, of course, once all that's done, ready to actually use that as an injection port, um, take a syringe with spores, inject it into it, Put one more piece of this uh, breathing tape layer over the tiny hole opened by the needle, um, just all for the same purpose. And then, yeah, so these sat for about 11 days before I started seeing this white stuff. And what that is is colonization. So that needle went about halfway into this jar, probably right, right here. And the reason you're seeing this white stuff kind of all over is. Um, I did about one cc per jar. Again, these are half pine jars. Uh, so that one cc probably leaked kind of around this. You can see it at the bottom. And um, this is great. It's, uh, you see it all over the place because these seeds are well hydrated. They're doing their job. This, is, well, this white stuff is exactly what we want to see. Um, so in another week or two, I expect all 10 of these half pine jars to be fully colonized. So that'll just look like this white stuff, but the entire um, inside of the jar will look like that, at which point um, these could be ready to be fruited, meaning I can open up the jars, uh, lids, and mushrooms could go directly out of them. Um, and that's also what they would call PF cakes. Um, that's not what I'm interested in doing. Uh, when I finish with these, I will not want to fruit them. I will then uh, create a substrate. I'm not going to go into details on that. There's a whole pasteurization process to that, not as time consuming as this. I'm going to mix a ratio of two to one. It's uh, the two representing the substrate, one the total amount of all of this seed that is fully colonized. So at a ratio of two to one, that will go into this bin. This bin will be modified with holes, probably two, two, one, one, two, two. Um, those holes will be covered in the same tape. Um, there will be no injection, of course. Don't need spores at that point. I've uh, got my colonized seeds, um, but that's just for the breathing. Oxygen, carbon dioxide out, stop contamination. Of course, this top will be sealed. Um, and uh, at that point, this entire tub will become a fruiting chamber. That is where the fruiting will take place. And at the end of it, this tub will be, um, just have hundreds of mushrooms on the inside. Um, and it should provide me at least three yields. So I will uh, take all that fruiting, all those mushrooms, I'll, I'll take uh, what's off the top, uh, begin to dry those out. In the meantime, it'll uh, have an entire another yield, do the same, and then I should at least get a third yield. This can go on longer, but guaranteed, I should probably get at least three full yields. So um, we're 
definitely talking hundreds of mushrooms, uh, potentially um, maybe in the thousands. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's a 46 quart tub. So there's a lot of room to work with here. And these uh, mushrooms are gonna be terribly large. Um, they might grow tall, but they're not gonna be super thick. So there's a lot of room for action here. Um, uh, yeah, that's uh, PF Tech as it's going now. And uh, when we get to uh, doing it in bulk in the tub, uh, maybe we'll have another video.